This is day two of chopping up some firewood. I tell you one thing, that stack of firewood is not going to chop and stack itself. But also today, Joe's making extra noise. Let's go see what he's up to. That is our chainsaw mill. Joe's making some lumber here. The idea was to cut up that huge log before it dried out and started to split. Hopefully make a bench out of that lumber. This huge tree is 128 years old. It was beetle kill. All the spruce beetles killed it. It was devastated in less than like six months. The whole tree turned brown. But deep down inside, the tree is still a, like green and wet when you cut it. So it's perfect for uh, cutting up into some lumber. We'll see what we can make with it. It'll be pretty cool. It's going to be a while before we make anything. Joe's leaving for a couple months, and I don't make furniture. So it might be a while before we find out what we turn that into. I'm going to take a break from chopping wood. And Joe is going to take a break from milling up lumber so we can get some sweet shots of chopping wood. All right, so today marks the last day of fall projects. Joe and Bonnie leave for town. The only thing left is wrap up the spring line. And that might not make any sense to you guys. That's why we're bringing you along. Saying goodbye to the spring line means a very limited supply of water. It makes getting water difficult. So guess what? I took one more shower, nice long hot shower before we tear down the spring line. All right, let's go. You know, it's kind of like a ghost town around here. Like, the flower pots are off the decks. It's all boarded up. The, look, there's even a tarp over our bench. Just kind of, you know, it's a sign that summer's over. And that's just how it goes. We'll get our holding tank filled. And I'll show you where that's at. We filled the holding tank right up here on the roof. Hi, Howie. How's it going? All right, we're gonna go in the house. We're gonna go into the pantry. We climb up here. What, it's too dark, I don't get it. Here's our holding tank. Shine this against the edge. Look at that, it's almost at three quarters full. All right, we'll keep an eye on this. Shut it off when it's full, and then get some drinking water. Okay, we're full. Maybe a little too full. That means I take this out. Start over, take two. So this year, how do you feel about uh, the limited supply of water? You know, I, geez, I feel pretty good about it, eh? Because you won't be here. That's right. Uh, the spring okay. flows probably April through November. Freezes up tight and solid. And then, where do we get our water from? That's a good question. And that is the right answer. All through um, October, November, all the way into next spring, we will be treating and filtering that water uh, for drinking and cooking. And then when it comes to showers, and laundry, no sense in filtering that because my clothes are not going to get Jardia, right? There's ice build up here because of a leak in the line. And this leak is because of a bear. 
if a bear walks by and they hear just the slightest little bit of hissing sound, they bite it out of uh, curiosity and or frustration, I suppose. And this leak did not fully get fixed. Really no way to fully fix one without cutting out the damaged part and sealing it back up with new fittings. But that is something that the previous owners and us have dealt with for years. We haven't dealt with a bear biting the spring line in uh, all this year and most of last year. Yeah, just a little interesting tidbit. All right, back to work. Right down here is where we're hooked up to the tank. We don't have any gear clamps on this. I'm just gonna give it a tug. I'm just gonna give it a tug. Keep tugging. There we go. Nailed it. Most of the line is gonna empty itself by way of hydraulics. The, the weight of the water leaving the line is gonna suck most all of it out. And then we'll coil it up. We gotta empty out this bucket flip it over so it doesn't fill with snow. We're about a third of a mile from the house. So it's a little bit of a hike up here. All right, so here we are up at the headwaters of the spring. Joe is dealing with the first filter. So he cleans up that part and that's about it. We just have to roll up over 2,000 feet of pipe, um, mark where they're at so we know where to find each coil of pipe next spring. Rock and roll. Okay, so if you guys don't know how to drain a pipe, Joe's gonna show you and demonstrate. Don't video this, this is embarrassing. All right, we're almost done. I can see the other end. Joe just got us a stick marker. So when this is covered with over four feet of snow, we know where to come next spring. We find this big circle of pipe. Here we go. There's one coil. One coil down. Well, that's not true. We've already done two. So that's three coils down and about four more to go. All right, that took us about an hour and a half and we've taken the last 500 feet of pipe and uh, we're putting it in the greenhouse that way come April time we don't have to go searching for at least the first 500 feet of the pipe under all the snow so we'll store it in there I'll show you one more thing that we did with our extra fall time all right here is what we did <laughs> boom full of wood I think we chopped and stacked about four cord it's a lot of wood. I'll put the little uh, details of how much a cord of wood is for those of you who don't know. Hey, did you show them our uh, little project here? We used material from the ramshackle piles that we had and we built the shanty. Those are two of my favorite words, ramshackle and shanty. Guess what's under this shanty? The big reveal. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna be using that a lot this winter. And this little shanty we'll keep it out of the snow for the most part all right guys thanks so much for watching this was you know somewhat boring I'm bringing you along for all of the nitty-gritty down and dirty not so fun stuff sometimes around here but be sure to like and subscribe we're getting better we're getting better at being on the camera getting better at editing and those two work together they're there's like, got to be a fourth thing they're like, oh we're getting better at counting. saying like and subscribe so. That's true. All right. See you next time.